Baker is trying hard to put his life and marriage back together, whilst Poncherello investigates a multi-million dollar heist on chips later at 8pm. But first, it's the Thames men. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm George. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm Alex. I'm in Colorado. It's absolutely beautiful up here, George. You've got to get your are ass you get, up here. I'm going to come as soon as you've got your spare room up and running, uh, and and we'll come up and we'll do we'll come and hang and do studio work and all sorts. It's it's I don't know. It's just up here. what a change from what a change from the Bay Area. But miss the Bay Area. But anyway, I think there were accepted me warmly up here you know and uh we're really? we're going to rename the house <laughs> that we got we're going to call it ready grumbles <laughs> what are you gonna call it grumbles do you know what a collective noun of pugs is a grumble yes oh of course yes, it is. Absolutely. but, 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 but you it, need it, three to have a grumble which means you mean you're gonna have to go and buy another pug yes or rescue another no, one no we're gonna get Just buy a lady pug we're gonna get a boy pug and we're going to make pugs. Oh, and you're going you to make little baby pugs. Yep. And we're going to live in a house called Grumbles. And basically, I'm going to, when you see me, my your eyes will water from the smell of pugs. <laughs> Just like, you're going to have the pug wing, are you? Yes, it's absolutely. Like pug central. You're going to have a pug, and, uh, a pug, a pug, uh, a pug arena, a pug run around and everything. You know. <laughs> anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we don't need to drag you through Casa Pug, but a separate channel coming to you a place soon. Um, the Wheel of Fortune spoke, and what did it come out with? Uh, it came out with your friend Joe Bonamassa and Jimmy Barnes. Absolutely. So. Did I ever tell you the time? And I had yes. A <laughs> yes. Did I tell you? No. What? No. But about Joe. Okay, go go. Go on, tell us. Uh, okay. And his big chin. I won't tell you, but I was right. Let's just put it that I had a I had a run in with Joe, and I was right, and he wouldn't back down. And he called his silly guitar. What did he call it? Fe uh, uh, Phoenix. I think he said didn't nah, he? Phoenix. What's what's something that comes out there? Uh, Lazarus. Oh, oh, right. He called so. his guitar Lazarus. <laughs> it's just like no. You got to call your guitar Lucille. Or you got to call it uh, like some girl, or, or or Blackie, or Greeny, or Big Red. You can't call your guitar Lazarus. Yeah, but okay, okay, hold on. Like just playing devil's advocate okay. for a second. We had a just we had an me. argument on social media, folks. And by the way, <laughs> here's a little tip: no one ever wins on those arguments. <laughs> yeah, it's like I've never, never changed win, anyone's you? mind. Uh, you keep trying to. Mm. Mm. Are you a troll? Yes. <laughs> but all right. So if you had a guitar, what would you call it? Okay. Okay. But okay. What What about Willie Nelson? His was called Trigger. Oh, well, that's decent. That's not Lazarus. It's like it. It's like he's gone <laughs> off to a cocktail party, and he's just you know. Oh. Well, this is this is the man who's going to call his house Grumbles. There's going to be someone who's going to write in and go, right. "You can't call a house Grumbles. You've got to call it after a pine tree, George, or or a mountain stream, George. You get a Les Paul gold top, all right." And mm -hmm. it's it's uh, y y y there was a fire, and in the in, in the fire, um, you run back in to, to to save the guitar, and while you're doing it, you pick a girl up, and she's called uh, she's called um, uh, Katie. Now, what do you call your guitar? Lazarus. No. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a track with Jimmy Barnes. Oh, Jimmy Barnes, we love Jimmy Barnes, don't we? We love Jimmy. So we've got some notes. Shall I read the notes? Yeah, do the notes. And ladies and gentlemen, we've okay. got two tracks, two tracks, two tracks. Two, it's a bonus. Yeah. And uh, scores. scores. Scores on the doors. Scores and the wheel. It's going to be a long show. But you know the second track, mm -hmm. I won't give it away, but it's got his daughter in. <laughs> That's giving it away. But okay, good. But you didn't say whose daughter has got in it. Uh, not mine. No, exactly. Right, so we're going to do a track from 1975, uh, well, originally 1975, uh, Jimmy Barnes with Joan Bonamassa, Stone Cold. Uh, but this is in 2014. And so to celebrate his 30th year as a solo artist, holy cow, Jimmy released the album 3030. Hindsight, which featured him revisiting some of his biggest solo hits with contributions from various guest artists. This song, originally from 1993, 
and written for Jimmy by Cold Chisel's Don Walker. So mm. It's pretty much a Cold Chisel song in many ways, isn't it? Uh, features Joe Bonamassa on guitar. And as you discovered, when they perform Lazy, it's one hell of a pairing. Yeah, we did love that Joe Bonamassa, Jimmy Barnes, uh, Lazy. That was amazing. And I, and I joke about Joe Bo- Bonamassa. He, he, probably our greatest guitar so we've got out there at the moment. Absolutely fantastic. And Jimmy, God, he can sing. So this is going to be a really great track. We haven't heard it. But you put those two together, and it's going to be like, you know, Phoenix coming up, you know, something like that. Oh, like Lazarus rising, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going to be like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know why I couldn't call my guitar Lazarus? A, I can't say it properly because I've got a lisp, and B, I couldn't <laughs> spell it. Okay, so, so if you had a guitar, what would you call it? Ah, <sighs> Gun. <laughs> and, <laughs> shoot the crowd like that. Oh. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. What would you call your guitar? Trevor. Trevor. Trevor the guitar. No, what would you really call the guitar? I'll call him Trevor. I, I think Trevor's a good name. Okay. <laughs> George and Tre- Trevor. <laughs> Trevor the guitar. Oh, don't. There was a kiddie fiddler I know called Trevor. He ended up working British <laughs> Gas. <laughs> well, they all, do, they all No, they don't all work at British Gas. <laughs> he did. <laughs> okay. Uh, they, some of them went to our schools, but anyway, they did. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm not going to mention his name, but it's Trevor was the first. Bit. <laughs> Tre- Trevor was his But I'm not going to Abri- remember the name. British Gas. And British Gas. You know who you are. <laughs> as do a lot of other people yeah. now. But anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> carry on. As, no, as if nothing happened. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's forget all that. Uh, complaints written to uh, Grumbles, uh, Colorado. <laughs> Uh, if you've got any complaints. Dear uh, Trevor, yeah. <laughs> my gas pipe seems stuck. <laughs> no. Okay, All right. this time, yeah, yeah. Jimmy Barnes, yeah. Stone Cold, uh, are you ready, yes. sir? Uh, three, uh, two, one, go.
magic well, that was so good yeah exactly he can call his guitar whatever he bloody well likes i think he can, do you know? he can fucking bend me down <laughs> and slap me around it. i don't really care as long as he... that that solo was i mean we're just Astounding. concentrating for that for the moment one of the greatest solos i've ever heard it was, it was effortless but it sat the tone on his guitar and and and, and uh, you know and, and kudos to kevin shirley the caveman kevin shirley who produces all these who who does a magnificent job, you know, just classy production, pure class there, you know what I mean? I love the song, it's like a well-trodden path trodden again, you knew what chord was coming up. Yeah, yeah, uh, we, yeah we've yeah. heard those type of songs before. And it was it's like being wrapped in an absolutely emotional duvet, and then you got Jimmy Barnes, just, what a performance. I mean, you know, if if that's like... 30 years of a solo career after he did Cold Chisel, you know, and his voice is still that powerful, you know, and, and, and that on point. It's ridiculous. Most artists, after they're celebrating 30 years, I don't know, they do it, they do a, uh, they do They a, dial it in or well, something. Well, no, they, or, they, do, they do the Great American Songbook and they might do like all, you know, covers of, uh, you know, just shite tunes. That was just so killer so perfect i mean yeah. what a combination i i was i mean just class all around i love the horns uh -huh. the organ the organ was great the b3 joe uh, I, he was just absolutely on fine as i said that gold top sounded so perfect and but there was like okay this is getting into the weeds a little bit but there was moments when he on, on uh joe was playing and, and he finished a note and Kevin you know, engineered, he left the sustain, the tail of it. You just heard it disappear into the distance. And it was just perfect. Yeah. All right. Go back and listen to those. Go and listen to those little moments, those bits between the notes. It is magic. That has gone slap on my, on my playlist now. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> we're not just leaving it there. Before we move on to the next track, are we going to score it? Yes, it's time for school. school. All 
All right. Ta. Well, uh, you made me go last time, George. I think it's time <laughs> you went first on the laser oh. scoreboard. The laser scoreboard, my three. And so out of scores out of 10, just for a bit of fun, just to see where we're at, just a quick recap of where we've been. Leonard Skinner is holding the top at the moment because uh, uh, that was a bit of a cheating by Alex. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, a couple of days ago, NF Hope. Unbelievable. Yeah. So anyway, and, uh, and just down here, uh, Joan Armour Trading. But that's, uh, again, through no fault of our own. But we won't carry on. All right. Okay. So um, this is going to be a hard one. You go for it, George. You, you work this one out. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I, like I said, production was astounding. Jimmy Barnes, amazing. Joe Bonamassa. Uh, fantastic. Love the video. Studio action is always good for me. Sounded so good. I do think it, it was it was him covering himself from 30 years ago. So it was it wasn't all new, all original in that regards. And and, and like you said, it was a, an emotional blanket. It was something we've heard, but I, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Don't get me wrong. So I'm going in with an 8.9 on this. Oh, one. That's a high score. That's a high score. That's, uh, superb. Yeah. I love. Well, the highlight for me, obviously, was Jimmy Barnes scream. And then the uh, the song itself, which is great, but uh, the solo that um, Boss Massa did was was glorious. The way that he held those top notes, it is it's you know, as I said, it is an emotional blanket. It's a feel good album. I'm going to come in with a solid eight. Oh, well, you be okay. All right, eight. All right, what? okay. All right, out of eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah, that's bloody good. Okay, all right, so fire up the calculators, get the steam going. And Ooh. so we've got a, a, what, an 8 and an 8.9. Uh, so that's a... Uh, what's uh, that? that's 320. A, uh, <laughs> it's a 16.9. All right. Now, all right, okay, so let's have a look. Uh, oh, I can't even write. So where does that come on the uh, laser scoreboard? Oh, it is the mamas and the papas. Pip it. Oh, that's about right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's, that seems about right, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. All right. All Ooh. right. Well, that's the end of the scores, and let's get ready for the next track, shall we? All right. So let's, uh, let's clear up the scoreboard. Welcome back. There Ooh. you go. Just say to George, we were just joking with all our props. We've got the puppet show on later. <laughs> I told you once, I told you a hundred times, it's the Thames and then the puppet show. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, okay, all right. No more sock puppets. No more sock puppets. All right, okay, right. so now we've got a b -b bonus. We've got Joe Bossomassa <laughs> again. You really don't want to say it right, do you? No, I don't. But Bonamassa. <laughs> Bonamassa, but this is something really interesting. So, so b -b bonus, and thank you, Chris, for sorting this out for us. You know, uh, you did a great job of, of putting us into interesting places. Uh, and uh, so, so this is. Uh, shall we do notes yes, real quick? Yeah, if you think, you've got, or, be great. No, got, got it ready yet. So, so this one is is going to be actually Jimmy's daughter, uh, Mah Mahalia Mahal Mahalia Barnes, is busy with her own soulful music career. After Kevin, the caveman Shelley, asked Joe to prov provide guitar for her new album, which he agreed to, they worked so well together that he invited her to sing on his album, Blues of Desperation, and subsequently a number of live tours. Joe claims his band has seven of the greatest musicians in the world, including legendary daughter of a legend, Mahalia Barnes. This song, written by John Hyatt, is possibly best known from the B.B. King, Eric Clapton album of the same name. Mm. All right. It's a Barnsley special, then. It's a family affair. It is a family affair, yeah. So, exactly. So, Mr. Joe Bonamessa. Okay, Riding uh, with the Kings, live from the Greek theatre. Is that what you got? That's what I've got. All right. Yeah. Well, hang around uh, after this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because we've got the Wheel of Fortune coming up as well. See what it's going to throw our way next. So, yeah, hang around. But in the meantime, a lot of rock on with this. All right, three, two, one, boom. <laughs>
I would Joe, I wouldn't sing. <laughs> Seriously. Really sing. <laughs> she, I mean, like, he's got a very average voice. Uh, she absolutely has got a magical voice. Has, yeah, I mean, you know, must be great genetics, because that is, a, or, you know, great skill. You, you don't sing like that by accident. You've got to work at it. But she's got a really good voice, hasn't uh, she? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't mean to diss uh, Joe whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic musician. But when, you know, and, and kudos, because he knows she is a, a you know, and a great singer to bring her to the front. But... Stop singing and let her sing. Her voice was. Well, oh, I don't know. You, you need the you need the sort of the jewel kind of thing. I think, did you not. Know, I, did you not. Know. Her, she yeah. was just fascinating to listen to. I mean, yeah, she just true. was going right up over the top and dropping in so hard, and it was just great. Uh, the band was just killer. Good song as well. But I'll always remember her vocals. 
from that. Well, yeah, yeah, no, that was that was all about her in that one. And and but I also I loved the horn player. I thought yeah. the horns were fantastic in that track. You know, they just sort of the, that that pairing of the horns and her yeah. voice was yeah. really magic. Really, you know, Aretha was, Franklin style. Yeah, very soulful, wasn't yeah, it? A real really soulful, soulful thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, yeah, I, I definitely, I think I'd like to see more of her work. Actually, you know, if she's got her own material and things, and see. So would I. To, so would I. You know, I'd I love to be see, really interesting. I'd love to see more of her stuff. And yeah. you're right, genetics. Oh, what a bitch, huh? I mean, just <laughs> absolutely. You could hear her father in there. Yeah, it's so so powerful, so much power to the voice, sort of thing. So yeah, it was cool. That was a really cool little bonus. I thought, you know, so fantastic. But now we got to line up for next show, and that means only one thing, George. It means it's time for Wheel of Fortune. Da -da. Look at that! I tell you, our budget knows knows no bounds, does it? Do you think one day we'll have like an actual studio with like you know where things like appear and, and disappear and stuff like that, or not? No. <laughs> if 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 people like and subscribe and get their friends to like and subscribe and their their friends friends like a pyramid scheme to like and subscribe and then all join Patreon, then maybe. We can up the technology. I think we're slowly slowing backwards. Because, uh, I, mean, I don't think we are. No, yeah. Uh, because, I, think, yeah. I mean, technology-wise, we should be able to have or whatever. We've reverted back to the wheel. But I love the wheel. We like retro, though, isn't it? Is it? Retro. It's retro. We're, we're retro. Yeah. <laughs> it should be a motif. Retro. We're retro. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay, so not? here we go. Um, there's uh, Deep Purple Alan Parsons Project, God Tier. Now, ladies and gentlemen, God Tier, we are, if at the end of this month, we, uh, it doesn't matter what level you are on Patreon, we're picking one person to be God tier. And what that means is that that person for five months over five tracks over six months can pick which channel they want on the main video. Now, if that isn't a bargain, what is? And they're going to speak in a northern accent. Yes. Or Sorry, a bad northern accent. For the Americans, they don't understand that. That is a northern accent. Lou Reed yeah. and Patty Smith, and they're interlinked. Ha, ha, oh, okay. They know right. so I just well. saw you sneaking in a bit of Lou Reed there, just by you know. No. I think. All right, let's okay. do it. Right. Is Jim ready? Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, he's ready. He's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Because yeah. oh, we're going to oh stop. Have you, have you oh, oiled it or something? Oh my God. It must be the altitude. Isn't it? It just, it's never going to stop. Perpetual motion. What? It's going to it. What's it stop for? I can't see. Lizzie. Uh, oh, no. Normal, normal size Lizzie. A normal size Lizzie, because we're not allowed to say thin, because we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're... And uh, it could be a man or a woman. So it's, uh, not, it's just <laughs> a person. Yeah, not a person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you, have you done it yep. now? You good? Yeah, okay, good. All right, you need to hold your chair. Right, that wasn't my chair. I can't, I can't wait until you've you've got your new place sorted and you've got wait. your chair with wheels back and everything. I can't you know? wait. Oh, no, but you should see what I'm sitting on. I, no, I don't want to know. No, what you don't want to see what. I'm <laughs> He's waving. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe. Thank you, Joe Bossamassa. Awesome, that's brilliant, and uh, and uh, Mr. Jimmy Jimmy Barnes and his uh, daughter, uh, fantastic. So, yeah, um, all right. You for the next show, which is just a normal person, not no no normal person. Not thin Lizzie, yeah, we're not allowed to not say thin that. Lizzie, no, no. No. All right, normal person coming up. Take care.